Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is uh, Dr. B uh, from Dr. B Outdoors Fishing and today I'm going to welcome you to my garage. I've uh, been trying to fiddle around with a nice product made by Yak Hour. Um, they have their new uh, Yak Hour uh, device which controls five different uh, accessories. <clears throat> And I was having trouble trying to figure out how to connect my Yak Power unit to my Android phone. Uh, the problem is that I had a previous version of uh, the Yak Power app and uh, Yak Power. I uh, just relatively recently came out with a uh, new version, but that new version is made by a different um, developer. So uh, I went through a lot of trial and error. I had to send some emails. I emailed my friend uh, John Jordan, who is uh, actually the president and owner of uh, Yak Power, and he was kind enough to let me know how to do it. I don't know if anybody else has had the same problem, but uh, just in case, I'm, I'm doing this video so that I can guide you through the steps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the Play Store, I've already searched for it, so I have it right here, Yak Power. There's two. If you see here, the first one says the Start All or Start AI lifestyle. So that's not the one that you should get. It's the one that's from Brooklyn Technology. So the one, one way to find out is just go to the app and then go to About This App. And then you'll see here that you have version 2.2.6 which was updated on March 28, 2019. So if you go to the next one which is uh, Brooklyn Technology uh, you go to about this app and then you see it's a newer version it's 2.5.2 which was developed on February 24th 2020. So this is the one that you have to, to choose. So what you're going to do is you're going to install it. Let's just wait until it installs it. <clears throat> it shouldn't take too too long. Alright, now you open it and it's asking you to access the device location. Uh, you just have to uh, allow uh, it to access photos and mic sometimes. So now you are inside the app. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the uh, to your uh, unit and you're going to turn it on. I already have it turned on so this time let me just uh, actually you have to do it from your control. So once it's on you're going to click on configure Bluetooth and it automatically detects it. So you just choose it and there you go. It's connected. Now you can actually power on and off whichever uh, devices you have connected. So for, for example right now I have number one is on which is what I'm using to charge my phone because I have several USB chargers. Uh, you can uh, choose bow for example uh, there you can see where uh, my lights are. Uh, I'll turn them off. Uh, go to stern. That's where I have my uh, Yak Power um, uh, 360 light. Um, number two are my my uh, lights for the outside of my kayak. So, anyways, if you turn them, if you turn this device off. Uh, now, everything is turned off so what you do is after you click on power again power it on and boom it just keeps the previous setting that you had so there you go guys um, I don't know if you have any questions about it if you do just uh, comment on the section below and I'll do my best to answer all of your questions in regards to the Yak Power product which in my opinion they're one of the best um, uh, companies out there that offer this type of product which is not only for your kayak you can use it for your your boats you can use it for several other uh, 
applications, but that's going to be up to you. It takes you know a little bit of uh, tinkering about so that you can incorporate the Yak Power products onto whichever use you want to give them. So anyways, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so that you know, get notified whenever I upload a new, a new video. So thank you very much for tuning and we'll see you out on the water.